Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to present Great Moments with Dyla Lincoln. What Dyla Lincoln would tell the greatest moments of his life. So, here to present Dyla Lincoln. And in, in, in 1809, I was born, and then, and then, some, some of my life struck me. My mother died, and it was the shocking news of all. I love my mother, and I said a final word to her. Good luck, Mom. My mom might be the specialist mom of all, but I am very special to her. See, I, I need to start my own life on what job I can do. So, I, I, I decided to work for a lawyer then. And that would be a good job. This can be a great thing to do. And you guys are right all along. I will become the president. And anytime soon, I lost the first ele- I lost the first election, but I ran for a second election, and and I ran for president again. And I got another thing to say. When I was elected president, the Civil War broke out. When the Civil War was out, many soldiers died. And many people died as well. I knew I had something to do about it. But I don't. And I had to use force to stop the war. So I had to give a little speech. And that is what a president will do. Give big speeches. Hopefully... It was in peace and harmony of the state. And my plan worked out after all. I know it was the right idea. And then the Civil War was over. But there was another problem. Slavery. Slavery was part of the United States and of the other states. Slaves had to work without resting. Or taking a break. And that is not cool or unfair. That's right. It's unfair. People need to rest and take breaks all the time. Like I do. I normally do it at my house. And plus, do you know the worst thing about slavery? You never had to go to the bathroom. And you can get sick. And even die. So, I made slavery illegal, but slavery is still, uh, again, out, out there in the States today. We're working on it, but we have long ways to go. But, I was hoping you guys can find a way to end slavery once and for all. And, and with the Constitution, we can make the United States peaceful again. And by the way, we can try to end slavery once again. We can try to outlaw it again. And that's what you guys need to do today. Now, in the later parts of my life, was a shocking ending to me. I went to a theater with my wife, and there was this man behind me. He had a gun in here behind my, my head, and he shot me. And I almost died, but unconscious. And then, 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 the people took me to the hospital. 
and I die in the morning the next day. I was the first president to be assassinated. But John Wilkes Booth, the guy who shoot me, couldn't end my legacy. My, 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 my legacy is still alive to me. You can find my face on a dollar bill or a penny, a coin. And plus, when you go to my memorial, the Lincoln Memorial, you, you, you can see, the, you can see the, the, the statue of me sitting in my chair, my favorite chair. And promise me, people never forget Dyla Lincoln and Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. And trust me, we can, we can work together to end slavery. And the other presidents of the United States trying to make slavery illegal again. And that is my final word. Thank you for watching Great Moments with Dada Lincoln. And I gather your personal belongings. Have a great day at Robert World.